Hi guys, it's me Daria. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to the Delta. How beautiful it is. Look. Back to you, sir. It's my mom chat with my brother. <laughs> At Vedenha you can see outstanding architectural masterpieces, which together represent a monument to the Soviet era and an example of styles prevailing at different times. Among them are the monument worker and collective farmer, fountains, friendship of peoples and stone flower, pavilions, agriculture, Soviet culture, Cosmos and others. Vedenha was opened on the 1st August in 1939, is a starting point in the history of Vedenha. Now you can see the Ostankinskaya Tower. It's a central pavilion. In this year, 1939, the All Union Agricultural Exhibition was held, which attracted more than 3 million Soviet workers. The exhibition town with 250 pavilions, alleys, ponds and fountains was designed by architect Vyacheslav Ostrozhevsky. This place is so beautiful, God's flowers smell so good. Vedenha is located in Ostankinsky district of Moscow, less than a kilometer from Ostankina Tower. This is a central square of Vedenha and Lenin. It is a robot exhibition. At Vedenha you can go to any scene the exhibition. This is a very historical place. The fountain friendship of peoples is one of the symbols of Uberdenha. His composition consists of several parts. The oval ball of the fountain is crowned with a golden sieve of wheat. Around the sheet there are statues of 16 gilded girls, symbolizing the Soviet republics. Their number is equal to 16 according to the number of administrative territorial units that were part of the USSR at the time of the creation of the cultural heritage object.
the girls are holding an agricultural plant in their hands which was often grown in the fields of her native republic. There are 16 sculptures in total while there were 15 republics themselves. This is explained by the fact that at the time of the fountain's creation there was also a Karel Finnish republic. The northern area of the site is an area shared between the exhibition center and the botanic gardens of the nearby Russian Academy of Sciences. In it are agriculture pavilions and estate pools with vegetational including Maturin's garden and the golden spike fountain. All the fountains in the center are covered with gold. There are also many statues situated throughout the site, particularly of Soviet leaders. In addition, the site house cinemas, cafes, theatre pavilions. In the southern area of the complex near the central entrance, there is an amusement park with the Moscow 850 Ferris wheel. It was built in 24 as part of Moscow's 850th anniversary celebration. The restored Soviet pavilion from Expo 67 in Montreal is now the Moscow Pavilion. Soviet architects planned the pavilions and Soviet artists designed the fountains. Designed it in Stalinist architecture.
its bellows and in this pavilion there is a cafe with traditional bellows food. In 208, the big constructivist pavilion was built as a replica of the original Soviet pavilion. At Vedenha, there are so many exhibitions all the time. So different exhibitions, you can see it. It's India. The Vedenha is the largest exhibitional museum and recreational complex. One of the most popular public spaces in Moscow. And 49 objects of cultural heritage are here. Today visitors can rent a bicycle and a scooter to tour the site. And then we go to eat. <laughs> I took a cake, Medovic. It's so delicious cake in Russia. In 2009, the renovated statue of worker and coal horse woman was erected on top of the building.